Hey there, good people of YouTube. This is the Stocks with Josh show. I'm going to know that I did my job right today when what I'm talking about becomes simple and clear for you guys. I want you to take a minute. Imagine with me your investment account. It's December 2022. And instead of seeing the red, it's got more money in it now than it did at the beginning of the year. Well, at the end of the day, all investors want is stable returns on their money. I asked you guys if you wanted me to talk about bonds and the people have spoken. So today's deep dive is in the world of guaranteed returns, AKA bonds. This video is gonna be short and concise. And I believe at the end, you're gonna know whether bond investment is right for you. So let's break it down. We're gonna start off with what is a bond. Bonds are investments into secure debt, sometimes referred to as debt securities. It's when an investor lends money to a company or a government for a set period of time, that period of time when it comes to pass is called maturity. And then the borrower or bond issuer returns the lender's money. Let's break it down with an example. There's a guy, he's trying to raise money. Could be a government, a state, a city, or a business. He comes up with a game plan for asking people for their money for a period of time. Now this sounds very similar to a loan, but we're not gonna call it a loan. We're gonna basically call it a bond because it sounds better. The word loan, that's not good. Sometimes loans don't get repaid, but bonds, now that sounds legit. In addition, one of the benefits to these bonds is if the seller of the bond doesn't repay you, you're legally allowed to seize their assets and sell them to regain your funds. Bonds are, after all, a legal document. For all of you crypto degens, you would know this as an ancient smart contract, or as you may view it, a not so smart contract. In the bond deal or bond contract, I'm gonna give this guy, for example, a thousand bucks. He's gonna give me regular 9.6% interest payments. Let's say he does it every three months for an agreed upon time frame of about 30 years. And then after 30 years, he's basically gonna give me back my thousand bucks and then we're gonna shake hands and we're gonna call it a day. Now I've got choices because there's a lot of people that want to do that bond deal with me. Matter of fact, so many people, I have to put them into different categories. Some bonds are safer than others, and some bonds pay more than others. And some bonds have special perks, or we may even call them hidden benefits. And I'm going to tell you guys what those are as well. But how do I know if any of these borrowers are legit and they're not going to lose my money? Well, no different than if you wanted a loan for a house or a car, the lender would basically run your credit score to see if you were credit worthy or if you were tore up from the floor up. In the world of bonds, this is called credit worthiness. There are third party agencies. One of them is called Standard & Poor's. They calculate and publish credit ratings. They'll do it for governments, municipalities, and companies. Municipalities is a word for cities or states, basically smaller governments. Have you heard of the term triple A? Triple A, I'm not talking about the insurance that tows your car. Triple A is a credit score and it's the highest rating a bond can receive. Triple A is considered a very safe investment with almost a zero chance of default. Anything that is triple B is considered investment grade. Anything below triple B is considered junk bonds. Some bonds pay a very high yield. I'm gonna give you an example of Argentina. Their 10-year government bond offers a 44.2% yield, but the Argentina credit rating is a D, according to Standard & Poor's. Now, they have an implied probability of default equaling 100%. That means you're never going to see your money again if you buy Argentina bonds. And for reference, Argentina has defaulted at least eight times on its debt in the past. And for perspective, the U.S. has never defaulted on its debt. Common sense rule of thumbs for all things investing. If it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is not true. If the point in investing in bonds is safe investments, then why invest in sketchy bonds? So what is the drawback to bond investments? Well, the downside is the lower yield than stocks. You're not gonna 1X, 2X, or 10X your money in bonds. As well as the fact that at certain times in the market, they barely beat inflation. But here's the key thing, it's always better than cash. So how many bags of cash am I gonna get by investing in bonds? In the same way that a blanket investment in the S&P yields on average 10%, treasury bonds have historically yielded 6% since 1929. How do I actually buy bonds? That's a great question. 
Government bonds are considered OTC. OTC stands for over-the-counter. So you can purchase them at www.treasurydirect.gov. You want to search that through Google because like anything on the internet, if you type the wrong URL, you could be directed to a fake website where there's people trying to steal your information and ultimately get your money. On Treasury Direct, you need to start by opening up an account. You can open your account for yourself or you could actually open up an account in your business ID. Just so you understand how the site works, bonds are auctioned once a week. So what that means is when you purchase, you're going to enter your bank account information and then you're going to be debited on the day of the auction or shortly after. The reason they do auctions is because the rate gets adjusted from time to time. It'll go up or down. The minimum purchase amount is 100 bucks. You can schedule regular investments in bonds. You can set it and forget it. An easier way to add exposure to bonds, though, is by using your exchange. You can buy a bond ETF. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. A bond ETF can hold up to 2,000 different bonds. There are ETFs that invest in treasury government bonds. One that I like is the IEF. And there are ETFs that invest in corporate bonds, such as the SPHY. So that's the IEF and the SPHY. If you have an ETF that you guys like, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section. So why would someone want to invest in bonds over stocks or even other assets like gold? Well, the most simple answer is there's low risk and guaranteed income. Bonds are relatively liquid compared to other assets like gold. Bonds can be redeemed in approximately 30 days and or sold even faster on the secondary bond market. The most popular highest yielding secured bond is the government I bond with a 9.62% return and it can be purchased all the way up until October 2022 with that yield. There are some predictions that the November I bond rate is going to go up to 12.4%. That's because of inflation and the rising interest rate. You can cash your series I bonds at any time after 12 months. And I think that's the biggest obstacle that some people have to investing in bonds is they feel like it's hard to get out of them. Now, you're going to receive, if you cash them after 12 months, your original purchase price plus your interest. I-bonds are meant to be long-term investments. If you redeem an I-bond within the first five years, the drawback is you're going to lose your last three months of interest. You can only buy $10,000 per person or $20,000 per couple per year. But you can also purchase an additional 10,000 if you do it in the name of your business, and you can do an additional 10,000 if you do it in the name of a trust. Three hidden benefits to I bonds, which is actually the number one hidden benefit of treasury bonds, is you don't have to pay taxes on the money you earn until you cash them out. The second tax benefit is that you can use your I bonds to pay for college expenses, and that becomes totally tax free. The third benefit to I-bonds is for tax loss harvesting. That's when you sell an investment at a loss in order to offset capital gains tax you're going to incur on other investments. So you end up lowering your overall tax bill from your investments. You do that by selling an investment that's losing and rolling that money into I-bonds. It will not be subject to wash sale rules. So let's recap. A bond is a loan that you give in exchange for interest. It is a legal contract between the borrower and you, the lender. Bonds are considered safer than stocks because as long as you're invested in a credit-worthy bond, you are basically guaranteed a return. And as long as the borrower doesn't go bankrupt, you're going to get all your principal back as well as the agreed upon interest. We looked at credit worthiness and that AAA is the safest and D pretty much stands for it will default. If you're getting a high yield, then you're likely assuming a higher risk. Stocks are for making money. Bonds are for keeping that money. And finally, there are hidden tax benefits offered by state and federal bond issuers. I want to share a personal reason I have for getting into bonds. Like all of you, my personal financial story is unique. It consists of ups and downs, triumphs and defeats. In a nutshell, both sets of my grandparents were very well off, but my mom and dad, they never succeeded significantly in financial terms. Their lives had great accomplishments when it came to art, intellect, and family, but not cold hard cash. Then my mom died at a very young age, and my immigrant father returned to his homeland, leaving me without any kind of a safety net of parents or any other form of support. I'm sure many of you guys have had similar or even worse experiences than me. 
I pursued my financial education so that I could wear down the paths leading to financial literacy for myself. I wanted to do it for my children, my son-in-laws, and my play adopted family. If you've got little to nothing right now and you're just trying to get going, then maybe bonds aren't for you. Maybe your best bet is to follow along my small account challenge on Moomoo. You guys know we're swing trading stock. We're starting with $200 and we're trying to double it to $400. Maybe bonds are down the road for you. But like me, I think it's worth you considering opening up a treasury bond account and even consider giving your kids gifts at Christmas or their birthday in bonds because you may be giving them a bigger view of money management, personal financial goals. If you want to follow along my challenge, there's a link in the top pinned comment for Moomoo. Download that, deposit $100, hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and I'm going to give you entry and exit prices for the stock that we're swing trading. That wraps up my Bond 101 lesson. There was a lot to share on this one. Let me know in the comments section what you guys thought, if you liked it or you have additional questions. As always, thank you guys for taking me along on your financial journey. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace and blessings, my friends.